Hey everyone, my name is Matt and welcome back to the farm. We're in the shop working today on the spindle assembly out of that John Deere brush mower that I'm borrowing from a friend of mine. Just to recap, I was going through greasing it and going to check everything and found a spindle that was loose. So upon inspection from taking it apart, I found the upper bearing was loose, noisy, dry, whatever. The lower bearing is the opposite. It's completely set up. You can't spin the outer race from the inner race. So I ordered some new bearings for it uh, from my local Napa Auto Parts. Uh, they had them in a warehouse, so they came in the next morning. I got the new bearings. Uh, I wanted to test fit this quick just to see how it fit in the housing. So we got two brand new bearings, one for the lower end of the uh, spindle and a new one for the upper end of the spindle. So we're gonna get all this put back together and get everything on so we can go hopefully do our mowing job. There, that's where it ought to be. Now for the spacer. Now for the upper bearing. It doesn't matter which way this goes on. The inner race protrudes out past the outer race the same amount on both sides. So it can go on either direction. I got the spindle assembly mounted back on the mower deck. I got it supported up underneath with a floor jack because the spindle will slide back down out the bearings. So it's got four bolts that hold the spindle assembly to the mower deck. There's an adjustment plate that mounts on the bottom side of the mower deck on top of the spindle. And that's where the single threaded rod is mounted to. This is your adjustment for your drive belt. So now we're gonna get the pulley put on. We got our key on. We're gonna get our pulley put on. Get it seated where it ought to be. There's another spacer collar here. And I gotta look at this because I don't think the spacer collar is deep enough in order to tighten this up. Meaning the spacer collar is shorter than what's left of the spindle. So when I throw the washer on here, there's actually an air gap between the spacer and the washer. So I need to look at a way of taking up that air gap to tighten up the spindle assembly. Well, I found a washer that fit in here pretty good. So we're gonna snug it down and see how everything fits. Well, it spins nice and free. There's no more slop in here like there was before. So let's get the belt hooked up and... Let's see if I can do this without pinching my fingers. There we go. Now we'll move on to fixing the flat tire. I got nuts flying everywhere. This is a 14 inch rim, 
The tire is a little bit smaller in diameter than the old one that I took off, but it ought to work. Well, we got our brand new used tire all mounted up, ready to go. And got the shrouds on to cover the spindles up and the belts. So everything's good there. So before we head off the farm to do some more, we're gonna go try this thing out around here a little bit. See how everything looks after that little test drive. Looks good to me. We're back home now everything ran great the mower we had no problems with everything we fixed stayed together and no other issues so 
that's good tractor same thing that ran great as always but it is inevitable every time you mow you get a little bit of weed seed build up in the radiator so we gotta blow that all out I gotta say one thing, International did make these grills pretty easy to take out for cleaning. Two bolts, two pins, good to go. We're gonna need this. Well, a little preventative maintenance goes a long ways, whether you do it before you use it or after, or both, really doesn't matter. I'm not always the best at it, I'll be the first to admit, but I always try to do it when I can. I'm really glad the mower held up good, everything that we fixed stayed together, and I really appreciate my friend letting me use it. I really wanted to try out a trailer mower. I had that three-point hitch uh, bush hog mower, and it was great, but I really wanted to try a tow behind, and it worked out really well especially behind the 460 so it gives me a little bit of uh, knowledge when I go to look to replace it here through the winter in the next spring because I think I definitely do need to get a bush hog of some sort brush mower whatever you want to call them if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you like our channel as always we ask you to subscribe we hope you have a great rest of your day we'll see you next time